see that the camera should dwell on that much longer because that looks a very, very serious state of affairs for this very great horse, Hickstead. To me, oh dear, that is so, so, so sad. And I'm very, very sorry to say that that looks as much as I can ever tell you, a heart attack and the, possibly the end of the road for a very, very great horse. And I'm as sorry to see that as I'm sure you are all across the world. I'm afraid there's nothing more that I can add to that. <sighs> but that... Don't show it to us again, for goodness sake. No doubt uh, we're broadcasting this competition live to the whole world and um, there's no doubt now that there will be a considerable break because this competition cannot go on obviously with the stricken Hickstead in the ring and uh, I'm afraid to say that this is a very very sad situation and the crowd are absolutely stunned the horse ambulance is coming into the ring this happens so rarely we often see not often occasionally you see a horse badly injured in a competition but the incidence of horses actually dying which it certainly looks to me as if uh, that has happened to the poor Hickstead is so much in the minority and has cast a desperate gloom over this wonderful competition. people obviously consoling the no doubt heartbroken Eric Lamaz there Hila Lucretia hold on next to him there she's already jumped a clear round this afternoon four clear rounds that doesn't seem particularly impressive now or uh, important does it at a moment like this but no doubt the competition will go on Uh, a totally stunned crowd and a distraught understandably distraught Eric Lamaze from Boney there international judge chairman of the jury of appeal on so many big occasions Nick Brooks Ward son of the late great Raymond Brooks Ward I've worked with at the BBC for 15 years as a commentator. Raymond, the uh, guiding light behind the Great Olympia Horse Show, which comes in about a month's time in uh, London, Olympia.